Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. You're at home with Melissa and I want to talk to you about this tank today. And the lighting in here is not changing. The camera is, for some reason, doing weird things. But anyway, if you can see that little girl there, she's the only one in this tank. Now don't feel bad for her. See what she's doing there? Guess what she's doing? She's hunting. Anyway, this little girl is a bluegill. And she's native to, to my area. In fact, I caught her myself near my house. And she is just really, really happy now all of a sudden because she's alone. So don't feel bad for her because she is. This is the way she wanted it. And in fact, it's because she wanted it that she is alone. Now, why she's in this particular tank is a whole other story. This tank was infested with what's called water fleas. And water fleas are not fleas, they're not insects. What they are is little crustaceans, kind of like shrimp. Maybe they are kind of shrimp even. But, try to get closer for you. Look at the striping on her, she's just beautiful. Oh yeah, oh she's being still. Anyway, she's a bluegill and you can see the blue spot on her gill. That's what gets them their name. That's why they're called bluegills because of that little spot. And her water's not green, just looks at it in the camera. But this was infested with water fleas. Now water fleas are a small crustacean that jumps and runs around and swims really fast. And if you watch them, they look like their movements look like that of land fleas, real fleas. And that's why they got their name. And so this tank had a lot of fish in it, but it had a problem with the water fleas. In fact, it was really getting overtaken with them. None of the fish, ah, uh, none of the fish in here wanted to eat them. So what I did was I moved them all out and moved them into their own, I'm trying to get a nice wide shot for you here. Moved them into their own tanks you know, with other, with other fish and things like that. They all get along really well, community tanks, but as this one was. But the water fleas were taking everything over. And I figured small crustacean, an aggressive hunter like the bluegill, they'll, they'll make fast work of that. And in fact, that was so true. Um, she, the reason she's in a tank by herself is that she was in with the other bluegill and she was growing big a lot more quickly than any of them. And normally, if, ooh, corner, there we go. Look at those stripes, look at that. Oh, is she pretty? Oh my gosh, I love her. But if you have a tank of the same kind of fish, obviously they're in the same water and have the access to the same things, and if you have one who's growing a lot faster than the others, guaranteed that one's a bully. They're chasing the others off when it comes feeding time and things like that. And that's exactly what was going on with her. She was chasing all the other little bluegills away. They weren't getting as much food. They were getting stressed out, so she had to go in a tank of her own. And I chose this tank because of the water fleas. Now, they are so tiny, they're about the size of a pinhead to maybe twice the size of a pinhead. And uh, so I wouldn't have been able to feed them even if they were still in here, but she's been in here for four days and in day one she had them all eaten. I haven't seen one in here since. I mean, she was so excited about the water fleas that when I put her into this tank, she immediately tore after them. She didn't even take, sorry about the camera action here, crikey. I just can't get it to stay still. But um, she didn't even take time to recover from the move into the tank. She immediately started diving down into the rocks and digging around and just going nuts, eating one after another of these little water fleas. And seriously, the whole tank was alive with them until she came. The, I mean, everything looked like it was just moving and it was because of the water fleas and none of the guys that had been in there even touched them and so I threw her in figuring she would take care of the infestation and get the numbers under control well she did that for sure 
And, you know, don't feel bad, guys, about these things being killed. I mean, you don't have any choice but to control their numbers. You can't let them, like, this was completely overtaken with them. And you have to control, in a small tank, the numbers of animals that you have in them. And, you know, you can't release things into the wild. That's highly irresponsible. Because these things then can become invasive species that cause all kinds of damage to an ecological system. And you don't want that, you know. Besides which, a lot of these are tropical type things. And if you release them somewhere where, like where I live, where we have snow and ice... Uh, you know, they're not going to make it anyway. I, they're they're going to die, so you're killing them and risking damage to the environment. So, you know, you have to do something to control their numbers. What do you do? Do you kill them outright? No. What I do is I allow the different species to control each other. And this little bluegill here did an even better job than I anticipated she would. And not only had their numbers under control, but had them all gone day one, I think. Maybe it took into the second day, but I didn't see any on day two. I think she already had them gone. Let's get a closer look. I'm trying to also get the angle right so you can get a good look without this strange discoloration going on. Oh, let's get a downward look on her. Anyway, you guys are getting a really good eye full of her. And you can't see too well, but her eyes are so pretty. And they're not, I don't know, they look different from other fish eyes. Well, I guess different kinds of fish have different, their eyes look different. But uh, the bluegill, their eyes around the edges have a lot of shine to them and things. And they're, they're, they're uh, not their gills or fins, they're, um, they're scales are really really shiny and there we go now you can see some of the patterning see those stripes oh my gosh I just think she's gorgeous I just think she's absolutely gorgeous but anyway she did her job took care of the creatures that were living in there and taking over everything and so this is her new home for now and she has plenty of room you know she's not at all upset and she's growing she hasn't been here, but hardly at all. And I swear, I swear she's grown more just since she came into this tank. So she's happy to be alone. And she's eating like a pig, growing like a bad weed. And I am going to, I think, move her into an even larger tank. So she can really run around. See what happens at that point. Let's see, she's up in the light. Oh, there we go see what happens at that point. Once I move her into an even bigger tank, we'll see just what she does. But yeah, if you've got things in your fish tank that look like fleas and they're jumping around and be bopping around and everything and they're teeny tiny and actually what they look like, if you're looking at one of them close up, is they look like little shrimp fry. So if you have shrimp and you think your shrimp had babies, don't be so sure if they're bouncing around like fleas on the land they're most likely not baby shrimp they're most likely these little water fleas and so she did her job she took care of them they're gone and if you get them in your tank I can't think that there's anything that they would hurt until their numbers just become excessive which they do quickly trust me so you know you might want to put an aggressive fish in with them see look she's hunting she's hunting she must have just seen something down there what a good girl. But you might want to put something like, if you have them, you might want to put Oscars in there or African cichlids. Something like that. Some really good hunter fish, you know. And they'll make fast work of it. And they'll eat them. And it'll be a great nutritious treat for them. And it'll help keep their numbers down. Probably decimate them, in fact. So that's what to do if you get water fleas. That's what they are. And this is a bluegill. <laughs> so anyway thanks for joining me guys have a great day and just go out there and do things and learn as much as you can and i will talk to you again soon bye bye